What are the principles of parametricism? Actually, what is parametricism? Stay with us, we want to talk about parametricism from the look of Patrick Schumacher, company director and senior designer at Zoharit Architects. I'm Patrick Schumacher, thanks for watching. In the past years, so many projects created under the label of parametric style. But are those really developed in a parametric way? When you see Zoharit Architects projects, you can recognize a kind of signature in all of the projects, from the small one to the big or bigger or the biggest one in all the scales, that maybe you can't see that in other architects' projects. In fact, it's a new style, applies to urbanism, architecture on all the scales, interiors, fashion design, furniture or product design that lies on a rule-based system instead of collaging different elements. Schumacher believes that parametricism is the only epical style after modernism, and the other styles like postmodernism or deconstructivism were only transitional style, and they were the first reaction to the crisis of modernism. The modernism that Schumacher relate to the era of Fordism, the Ford factory, and endlessly repeating for decades. The same standard for leaving the same house or the same car. So this was the era of modernism where you had to be efficient. You know what to produce and everybody doing the same thing for decades. Let's take a quick look on Haydar Aliyev project obviously by Zahadid Architects. As you see projects look different from each side and each part and you know that it's one object. One territory keeps changing, keeps looking different. Yet there has a unity and coherency. There is a continuity of material between roof, surface and plaza. Everything is connected to everything else according to rules. One surface modulating and becoming seat, balcony or lighting. So what are the essentials of parametric style and how we can relate Zahadid projects to parametricism? Let's start with negative principles. These are something that we need to reject in parametric architecture. Rigid forms. Patrick says we need to exclude rigid forms and we should no longer work with them because of the lack of complexity. Repetition. It's not the image of our contemporary society when you have an element just to simply repeat and it's also taboo. Pure difference. Modernism was all about simple forms, separating and repeating. But parametric style creates a kind of unity. So parametricism rejecting the principles of architecture of 5000 years and also rejecting what has happened spontaneously. But if parametricism reject all of these things, what it can suggest us for doing? Actually we find that what is not acceptable in parametric style. But what elements are acceptable? What are the positive principles? According to Schumacher's view side about parametric style, these are three positive principles. Soft forms, differentiation, and correlation. Schumacher compares modernism with parametricism and also adds if modernism as an epical style had some subsidiary style like functionalism, brutalism, or high-tech, we can also see some subsidiary style in parametricism. The first subsidiary style of parametricism is foldism which is about create a variety of complexity with one surface, like what we can see in Haydar Aliyev project, which has both coherence and differentiation. Next one is blobism, the fusion of blobs into volumes. You can see the zones partially articulated. The next subsidiary style is swarmism that applies to urbanism, and it's about particles, which associated in different ways, and you have swarms of elements that deliver variation and differentiation. The last one, tectonism, is not only different from the others in morphology. It has grains of textures and colors. So tectonism heightens the structural and fabrication logics. It's the architect's stylistic expression to the engineering solution, where the joints and material limitation of fabrications are considered as natural ornaments to the work of an architect. At the end, we want to know what is your opinion about parametric style. 
Do you think it's the main style of our time? Do we need any style or ism to explain the way that we look in architecture? Or can we use a formula for defining architecture? And the main question that we want you to think about it, is architecture a cultural knowledge or a scientific one?